morning everyone. Today we're going to be talking about a very enigmatic species from your estuary side of things. Probably the most, I'd, I'd like to say, most targeted artificial species in fresh or in the estuary side. Although now that I say that I'm actually thinking maybe the spring is more. Anyway, the rock salmon. Now, Lutjanus argentimaculatus, maculatus, maculatus, argentimaculatus. Um, also known as a river snapper, it's part of the snapper family. They've got your, like we say, snappers, they've all got that very, very powerful jaw and they've got the canine teeth. Not necessarily a mouth full of them, but in the front they've got those, those canine teeth that they use for whacking their prey and disabling them. So, yeah, overall snapper type shape. Um, fairly large, large head with the, the powerful jaws, you can actually see it on them. Uh, plated scales all the way along, very distinct spines on the top, uh, large eye, which sort of dictates that it's a predator, and they, they've they got very, very strong fins. Now, color-wise, they're coppery, sort of reddy color with a, a white belly, but most of the fish, I mean 90% of the fish is that, is a coppery red color. Um, they do sometimes go silver when they're distressed, and obviously once they've died, they, they can fluctuate to that color. In terms of where they're going to be, rocky reefs is um, where you're going to get them from the shore side of things, but they're mainly caught in your estuaries because that's where you're going to get a lot of the young and things like that. And when the smaller fish are a lot more more prone to attacking things, so they're a lot more vicious in terms of uh, going after lures and they're not, they're not as discerning in their taste. They're an ambush predator, they like sitting in cover, so when you are fishing for them, especially in the estuaries, where you get your your rocky areas or your areas where you've got a bit of uh, trees and uh, vegetation sticking over into the water they'll sit in that shade and just just hang there until the school of mullet or something come past and goes out and whacks it so they very very quick over short distances and very strong and also they know their habitat well so if you do go targeting them use slightly heavier tackle than you think you're going to need and you know in terms of targeting live bait and lures are going to be your best bet in the estuary and then the surf side of things it's really difficult to target them specifically because they're not extremely um, common in any specific spot so they're generally a bycatch and when they are caught like that it's going to be on fleshy fleshy baits or choco baits um, we've caught them sometimes up north on a whole sl uh, slide bonito so they they're fairly aggressive with how they, what they tackle and what they go after. Um, the tagging data and stuff like that has shown that they're quite resident, so they'll stay in an area, which is obviously that means they're sensitive to overfishing because once you take them out, there's nothing left there. Um, obviously, we do get replacement stock come in, but that's a separate story. MPAs, this Project Paquisa is going to be a very important thing for them because if you can protect an area where they're safe, then they can sort of build up their populations in there and then overflow into the areas alongside. In terms of records and things like that, the spearfishing record is the biggest that we've got at the moment. And that's about 16 and a half kilos, thereabouts. Um, but yeah, overall your, your estuary species, estuary fish are going to be up to about 3 to 5 kilos. A 5 kilo one's an absolute giant. Um, and then in the surf we get them up to 12 kilos. Um, but nothing really... They're more sort of below 10 kilos. So yeah, um, powerful species. Uh, you're allowed five per person per day and the minimum length is a total length of 40 centimeters. So stick to that. Obviously you really don't need five of those. Um, one is more than enough, but I'm not gonna tell you what you can and can't do. Stick to the laws and yeah, protect the species for the future. So yeah, the river snapper. Cheers guys.